Hello people, how are you doing? Natal, situated in the northeastern region of Brazil, is the capital city of the state of Rio Grande do Norte. Its history is intertwined with the rich tapestry of Brazilian colonialism, indigenous cultures, and European influence. The name, Natal, translates to Christmas, in Portuguese, reflection of the city's founding on December 25, 1599, by Portuguese explorers. Originally intended as a military outpost to guard against potential French, Dutch, and indigenous threats, Natal's strategic location on the Atlantic coast made it a significant stronghold during the colonial period, the indigenous people of the region, such as the Potiguaras and the Tapuyas, had inhabited the area long before the arrival of the Europeans. The interactions between these indigenous groups and the Portuguese settlers influenced the cultural landscape of Natal, leaving lasting legacies in language, cuisine, and traditions. Throughout its history, Natal experienced periods of prosperity and hardship. In the 17th century, sugarcane plantations flourished in the surrounding areas, driving economic growth. However, Natal's isolation and vulnerability to attacks led to periods of decline, particularly during conflicts with neighboring European powers. During the 19th century, Natal began to emerge as an important commercial center, fueled by the cultivation of cotton and the growth of maritime trade. The city's port became a hub for exporting cotton, salt, and other goods to Europe and the Americas. In the early 20th century, Natal gained international recognition when it became a stopover for pioneering aviators attempting transatlantic flights. The city's geographical position, with its Ponta Negra dunes providing suitable landing sites, made it an ideal refueling point for aircraft crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Natal's culture reflects its diverse heritage, blending indigenous, African, and European influences. Traditional music and dance forms, such as foro and frivo, are popular throughout the region, adding vibrancy to local festivals and celebrations. The city's cuisine is a delicious fusion of flavors, incorporating fresh seafood, tropical fruits, and indigenous ingredients. Dishes like camarão na morena, shrimp served in a pumpkin, and tapioca, a starch extracted from cassava root, showcase Natal's culinary diversity. Today, Natal is a bustling metropolis renowned for its stunning beaches, including Ponta Negra, Janipabu, and Pipa, which attract tourists from around the world. The city's economy is driven by tourism, services, and the burgeoning technology sector, with investments in renewable energy and aerospace industries contributing to its growth. Natal's history and culture continue to shape its identity as a vibrant coastal city, where tradition meets modernity against the backdrop of Brazil's northeastern landscapes. The Natal Dunes, or Dunas de Janipabu, are one of the most iconic natural landmarks in the state of Rio Grande do Norte, Brazil. Located just outside the city of Natal, these majestic sand dunes stretch along the coastline, offering visitors a unique and captivating landscape to explore. Formed over thousands of years by the action of wind and tides, the Natal Dunes cover an extensive area, characterized by towering sand formations that rise and fall in mesmerizing patterns. These dunes can reach heights of up to 30 meters, almost 100 feet, creating a dramatic backdrop against the azure waters of the Atlantic Ocean. The Natal Dunes are not only a sight to behold but also a playground for adventure seekers. Visitors can partake in a variety of thrilling activities, including dune buggying, sandboarding, and camel riding. Dune buggy tours are particularly popular, offering adrenaline-fueled rides across the undulating terrain, with skilled drivers navigating the sandy slopes and valleys with precision. For those seeking a more leisurely experience, the Natal Dunes provide ample opportunities for relaxation and exploration. Many visitors choose to stroll along the crest of the dunes, taking in panoramic views of the coastline and the surrounding landscape. The dunes also offer secluded spots for picnics, sunbathing, and photography, providing a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of urban life. The Natal Dunes are not only a playground for tourists but also a vital ecosystem that supports a diverse range of flora and fauna. Despite the harsh conditions, various plant species, including cacti and succulents, have adapted to thrive in the sandy soil. 
Birdwatchers can spot numerous avian species, such as sandpipers, seagulls, and terns, which frequent the dunes and nearby lagoons. In addition to its natural beauty, the natal dunes hold cultural significance for the region's indigenous communities. The dunes have been inhabited for centuries by indigenous groups, who have preserved their traditional lifestyles and customs amidst the shifting sands. Today, efforts are underway to promote sustainable tourism and preserve the ecological integrity of the dunes, ensuring that future generations can continue to enjoy this natural wonder. Overall, the natal dunes offer a captivating blend of adventure, natural beauty, and cultural heritage, making them a must-visit destination for travelers exploring the northeastern coast of Brazil. Whether you're seeking thrills on a dune buggy ride or simply soaking in the serenity of the landscape, the natal dunes promise an unforgettable experience for all who venture into their sandy embrace. One of the most famous lakes in Janipabu is Lagoa de Janipabu, a picturesque body of water surrounded by golden sand dunes. Its crystal clear waters provide an inviting respite from the heat, inviting visitors to swim, paddle, or simply relax on its sandy shores. The lake's calm waters are perfect for families with children, offering a safe and enjoyable environment for swimming and water play. Another notable lake in Janipabu is Lagoa de Patangui, located a short distance from the coast. This tranquil lagoon is surrounded by lush vegetation, creating a peaceful retreat for nature lovers. Visitors can kayak or paddleboard across its serene waters, immersing themselves in the beauty of the surrounding landscape. The lakes of Janipabu are not only scenic havens for tourists but also vital ecosystems that support a diverse array of plant and animal life. The surrounding dunes and vegetation provide habitats for a variety of species, including birds, reptiles, and small mammals. Birdwatchers will delight in the opportunity to observe numerous avian species that inhabit the lakes and surrounding wetlands. Egrets, herons, and kingfishers are among the many birds that can be spotted wading in the shallow waters or soaring overhead. The lakes also attract migratory birds during certain times of the year, adding to the richness of the avian diversity. Reptiles such as lizards and snakes are commonly found in the sandy terrain surrounding the lakes. While small mammals like rodents and marsupials inhabit the dunes and nearby vegetation. Visitors may also encounter amphibians such as frogs and toads, which thrive in the moist environments created by the lakes. Cascading down rocky cliffs amidst lush vegetation, the waterfalls of Janipabu create idyllic settings for relaxation, adventure, and exploration. While not as well known as its sand dunes and lakes, these waterfalls provide a serene retreat for travelers seeking to immerse themselves in the region's natural beauty. One of the notable waterfalls in Janipabu is the Cacoera do Roncador, located in a verdant valley surrounded by towering trees and tropical foliage. The waterfall's cascading waters create a soothing soundtrack as they tumble into a clear pool below, inviting visitors to take a refreshing dip or simply bask in the tranquility of the surroundings. Another must-visit waterfall in Janipabu is the Cacoera do Pico. Named for its location near the summit of a rocky peak. Accessible via a scenic hike through the forest, this waterfall rewards intrepid adventurers with breathtaking views and invigorating cascades that cascade down the rugged terrain. The waterfalls of Janipabu are not only scenic wonders but also important ecosystems that support a diverse array of flora and fauna. The lush vegetation surrounding the waterfalls provides habitats for a variety of plant species, including ferns, orchids, and bromeliads. Birdwatchers may also spot colorful avian species flitting among the trees, adding to the area's natural charm, after a day of exploring the waterfalls and natural wonders of Janipabu. Visitors can indulge in the region's delicious cuisine, which reflects the vibrant flavors and culinary traditions of northeastern Brazil. Seafood plays a prominent role in the local cuisine, with fresh fish, shrimp, and lobster featuring prominently on menus. Dishes like maquica de piques, fish stew, camarão na morena, shrimp served in a pumpkin, and caranguejo, crab, are popular choices for seafood lovers.
The wet season in Natal typically occurs from March to July, bringing frequent rainfall and higher humidity levels. These months are known as Inverno, winter, locally, despite the absence of cold temperatures. The rain nourishes the region's lush vegetation, creating vibrant landscapes and supporting agricultural activities such as farming and fishing. During the wet season, cultural events and festivals in Natal often celebrate the city's rich heritage and religious traditions. One of the most significant festivities is the Festa Junina, a nationwide celebration that honors St. John the Baptist and features traditional music, dance, and food. Locals dress in colorful attire, participate in folk dances like quadrilha, and indulge in traditional treats such as pomonia, corn pudding, and kanjika, sweet corn porridge. In contrast, the dry season in Natal, which extends from August to February, is characterized by sunny days, lower humidity levels, and cooler evenings. This period, known as Vareo, summer, is ideal for outdoor activities such as beach going, surfing, and exploring the city's natural attractions. Natal's culture is deeply influenced by its diverse population, which includes indigenous peoples, Afro-Brazilians, and descendants of European settlers. This cultural diversity is reflected in the city's music, cuisine, and traditions, creating a vibrant tapestry of flavors and customs. Migration also plays a significant role in shaping Natal's cultural landscape. The city has attracted migrants from other regions of Brazil seeking economic opportunities, as well as international migrants drawn to its natural beauty and laid-back lifestyle. This influx of diverse perspectives and backgrounds enriches the city's cultural scene and fosters a spirit of inclusivity and tolerance. Furthermore, Natal's proximity to other countries in South America, Africa, and Europe has influenced its culinary scene, with dishes incorporating ingredients and flavors from around the world. Seafood dishes are particularly popular, given the city's coastal location, and are often prepared with a unique Brazilian twist. Overall, Natal's weather, culture, and migration patterns converge to create a dynamic and welcoming city that celebrates its heritage while embracing new influences. Whether exploring the city's historic sites, savoring its culinary delights, or simply soaking in the sun on its pristine beaches, visitors to Natal are sure to be captivated by its beauty and charm. The region's warm climate and fertile soil provide ideal conditions for cultivating a wide variety of tropical fruits, many of which are staples in the local cuisine. Visitors to Natal can indulge in a cornucopia of flavors, sampling exotic fruits that are fresh, flavorful, and bursting with nutrients. One of the most beloved fruits in Natal is the mango, known for its sweet and juicy flesh. Whether enjoyed fresh, blended into smoothies, or used to make refreshing desserts like mango sorbet, this tropical delight is a favorite among locals and visitors alike. Another popular fruit in Natal is the cashew fruit, known locally as kaju. While the cashew nut is well known worldwide, the fruit itself is a tropical delicacy with a unique flavor that is both tangy and sweet. In Natal, you'll often find kaju juice, ice cream, and even alcoholic beverages made from this versatile fruit. Guava, or goyaba, is another fruit that thrives in the region's warm climate. Natal's guavas are prized for their fragrant aroma and sweet tart taste, which lends itself well to jams, jellies, and desserts like guava pastries. Pitaya, also known as dragon fruit, is a visually stunning fruit that is as delicious as it is beautiful. Natal's markets are often adorned with displays of vibrant pink pitayas, which can be enjoyed fresh or blended into smoothies for a refreshing treat. When it comes to surfing, Natal boasts some of the best waves in Brazil, attracting surfers from around the world to its pristine beaches. The city's coastal location, with its expansive stretches of sandy shoreline and consistent swells, provides ideal conditions for surfers of all skill levels. Ponta Negra Beach is one of the most popular surfing spots in Natal, offering consistent waves and a lively atmosphere. Surfers can catch breaks along the beach's rocky shoreline, with waves that are suitable for both beginners and experienced surfers.
Whether you're sampling exotic fruits at a local market or riding the waves along Natal's stunning coastline, the city offers a feast for the senses that is sure to leave a lasting impression. With its abundance of tropical flavors and world-class surfing, Natal truly has something for everyone to enjoy, the waves at Ponta Negra are a draw for surfers of all skill levels, offering a diverse range of breaks and conditions to suit every preference. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a novice looking to catch your first wave, Ponta Negra has something to offer. One of the main attractions of surfing at Ponta Negra is its consistent swells, which are fueled by the steady trade winds and ocean currents. These reliable conditions ensure that surfers can enjoy quality waves year-round, making it an ideal destination for surf trips and competitions. The beach's geography also plays a significant role in shaping its waves. Ponta Negra is situated along a rocky shoreline, which creates natural points and reefs that produce excellent surf breaks. Surfers can find a variety of waves to ride, from mellow longboard-friendly rollers to more challenging hollow barrels for experienced riders. Aside from the waves themselves, Ponta Negra offers a vibrant beach culture that adds to its allure. The beach is lined with bustling cafes, bars, and surf shops, creating a lively atmosphere where surfers can relax, socialize, and soak in the sun between sessions. For those looking to unwind after a day of surfing, Ponta Negra's beachfront promenade is the perfect place to relax and take in the stunning sunset views over the Atlantic Ocean. Visitors can sample delicious local cuisine at one of the many seafood restaurants lining the waterfront or enjoy live music and entertainment at one of the beachside bars. Overall, Ponta Negra Beach offers an unforgettable surfing experience surrounded by natural beauty, vibrant culture, and warm hospitality. Whether you're seeking adrenaline-pumping waves or simply looking to relax and unwind on the sand, Ponta Negra has something for everyone to enjoy. As the video draws to a close, I find myself filled with a sense of gratitude for the captivating journey it has taken me on. The final moments have provided a poignant conclusion, leaving me both inspired and deeply moved the imagery and storytelling in these last few minutes have been nothing short of breathtaking. Each frame has been meticulously crafted, drawing me deeper into the narrative and evoking a range of emotions that linger long after the screen fades to black. The music, too, has played a vital role in shaping the atmosphere of the closing scenes. Its haunting melodies have underscored the drama and beauty of the visuals, weaving a tapestry of sound that resonates deeply with the soul. But perhaps what I appreciate most about these final moments is the profound message they impart. In these fleeting seconds, I've been reminded of the power of human connection, the beauty of nature, and the importance of cherishing every moment we have on this earth. As the video comes to an end, I'm left with a sense of wonder and awe, grateful for the opportunity to have been part of this extraordinary experience. It's a reminder that sometimes, the most powerful moments are found in the simplest of gestures, and that true beauty can be found in the most unexpected places, so, as I bid farewell to the screen and return to the world beyond, I carry with me the memories of these final moments. Grateful for the journey they've taken me on and the lessons they've taught me along the way.